Can you everyone? I'm Raz. I just do a brief pseudo talk about uh, something I promised to the mailing list uh, Facebook authentication with device and Omni Auth. Uh, so we all know Facebook, we all know device, and we probably also know Omni Auth. Not much. Well, it's another gem for doing. Uh, it's a gem for doing authentication using external services. So log in to device using your Facebook sign in, or log in to device using your Twitter, Twitter account, or email. Okay. So there's Omni Auth, and then they have there are many Omni Auth strategies. So that yeah, there's Omni Auth Facebook strategy, and then there's a Gmail strategy, and there's a Twitter strategy. You can mix and match. Anyway, uh, the TLDR version is the repo is there. <laughs> it's a very minimal app. It's a Rails app with nothing else but uh, device and Omni Auth and Omni Auth Facebook, and you just edit the. One big device that are we putting our Facebook key there, with the uh, API key and the secret API secret password. And there, you should be able to, if you run your app, you should do something like uh, that from that repo. see the Facebook authentication and then if you sign in your Facebook account there, uh, if the user is not yet a Facebook user it will create a user record for you and then you're already signed in to have a current user instance so I have a prepared match uh, that's it <laughs> generated user model with very little changes. So there's the Omni Automall, I just added that. And then there's this client for Facebook co-op method. So uh, this is the after Facebook authenticates the user, Facebook calls your app and redirects the, no, Facebook redirects the browser to this, uh, to the route that uh, eventually resolves to that code. And then you get the access token. The access token contains the Facebook ID, the email, and Facebook stuff that you'd like to store in the user record. Uh, what 
else is interesting there? No changes to the routes? Uh, is it the the Facebook login dialog? That's how I There's the uh, Omnios callbacks. Yeah, there's a device generated route. And there's. Yeah, I just customized the home. So I'll change this to the route. Uh, where's the controller? This is the callback that Facebook talks to. So it calls that. Uh, use model method that I earlier showed. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. So I'll put up uh, another instance that's running. I'll kill this.
Facebook and where's your password? <laughs> yeah. Star sit in plain text. No, 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 <laughs> so what you see is I think after there are I got your token <laughs> now no 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 I did not spot it but I got your piece of ID <laughs> <laughs> Also store the Facebook token, but it's set. Uh, you have to set it in the app to capture it and set a future expiration date. So there. Question. Questions. Question. How do you change the permission? The permission uh, app. It's uh, in Facebook. Uh, 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 the permissions the app wants to act. Uh, it's right. in Facebook. So what happens is, the device redirects you to Facebook. Let's let's do that. Okay. Actually, no, no, that. Edit that. Edit settings. Typical Rails 